Yeah. YouTube Music is getting real time lyrics. This article posted April seventh, twenty twenty three. Okay, <laughs> we're back. I don't know. Are we? I think so. <laughs> After hinting at the beginning, uh, uh, testing late last year on TVs, YouTube Music is starting to roll out real time lyrics on Android and iOS. At the moment, YouTube Music offers static lyrics when you pull up the middle tab at the bottom of Now Playing. Live support dramatically increases the text size and spacing. The current line is highlighted in white. I feel like I actually used this. Or was I in Apple Music? I don't remember. But in a video recently, actually, when I was testing some headphones, maybe that's not even out yet. I can't remember. But anyway, I was playing the lyrics on the app. I think it was YouTube Music. And it's nice. It's scrolling. It's really visible. And it kind of enhances the experience a little bit. So I'm into it. Uh, especially rolling out on mobile. Is it as cool as the lyric speaker from that I posted the YouTube short on? Not really, because it's still small and it's not really a party atmosphere. But maybe if you had a tablet or something hooked up to a, like a cool stereo and then you just had it in lyrics mode, mm -hmm. uh, you, could, that could, you could have some ambience there. Yeah, nice little feature. Uh, Google Pixel 7a leak reveals new blue color. That's about as light of a blue as you can get. It doesn't get mm. much lighter. You get lighter than that, the blue is completely gone. Yeah. Pixel 7a will likely be announced at Google I.O. next month. And except for the bezels, you'd have a hard time telling it apart from the Pixel 7. Yeah, it's true. It does look the same on the back. We're getting closer and closer to I.O. 2023. Looking like this year's event is going to come with new hardware in tow. Google is expected to announce its latest mid-tier phones, Pixel 7a. I, I, I kind of like these A devices only because it's affordable for people and... Latest software, a brand that a lot of people that are looking for an affordable phone are kind of comfortable with. And in this case, you've got a design that's pretty much flagship tier design because it's essentially the same as what you're getting on the the Pixel 7. Although, as mentioned here, the display setup on the front's a little different with the fatter bezel and, and so on. Um, however, it's funny they mention... The, the company has a long history of sheer incompetence when it comes to containing leaks. Easy. It's brutal. Easy. Man, they kind of they kind of laughed about it. I don't know to what extent they even like are they trying as hard as other companies to to hide it or are they maybe they're just a little more chill. I don't know. Or they're incompetent. All right, it's one or the other, but I, that word is man, it's a pretty harsh word. Yeah. Incompetent. Whoa. <sighs> Um, pricing okay. Pixel Seven is on sale right now at four forty nine, and the Six A is two ninety nine on clearance. So, like, what? How do you fit this price in here for the Seven A? Somewhere in the middle it might be really aggressive. There's not much room in the middle there. You're at three, and you're at four fifty. Mm -hmm. At three fifty, is that what you're suggesting? I guess. Yeah. I think you're suggesting three fifty. Well, three four nine. Uh, look at what's happened to the cost of phones, my friend. Mm -hmm. Talking about 349 for that right there, 2023. It's like the laptop story from before. Yeah. Do we need what we have? Should we be spending two grand on phones every year? Uh, well, I, I say every year, but like it's because I'm, I'm making videos every year. So, like, mm -hmm. that is the cycle that the brand would love. I don't think any regular humans are doing that outside of the real enthusiastic bunch. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. 350 you got a fine phone and you could get it every year if you want at 350 yeah crazy 